Hey, how's it going, everyone? Saints fan back again with another episode of Fashion of Friday, a series where you guys showcase some awesome outfits for your characters in GTA Online. Now, sorry for no episode last week. This will somewhat make up for it, but the problem with last week, obviously the Vigilante came out on Friday, so that kind of took over Friday, and when I looked at the Halloween outfits, there really weren't that many and I didn't want to make an episode with just like five outfits. Funny enough though, we actually got some pretty awesome Halloween outfits after Halloween. So what this video will be is somewhat of a Halloween scary outfit video. We also have some normal outfits, which we'll start with, but there are a bunch of really awesome scary outfits. So if you guys still want to dress up and stuff like that, then this episode will hopefully help you out. Now, the first one from Thesis Badger. Apparently this one... He says, if Sherlock Holmes played GTA, this is what he'll look like, run and gun outfit. So this first one, which is a pretty cool one, is the Candyman RNG. And it's a pretty awesome combination of the red, the white, and the black. You can see it does use one of the new face scarves. And I don't know if this is supposed to be somewhat of a Halloween outfit or not because of the face paint, but it kind of looks cool. And if you like run and gun style outfits, if you want something different looking, that is totally one. And then... I don't know why this, the, the name of this one is the Ali Akbar RNG outfit, and it's kind of the same thing, but just with sort of a green and a yellow look with the black pants. But again, if you like the run and gun outfits, then those are two pretty unique ones. Then the next one we have from Clutted is called the Terror Squad MC. So another sort of MC outfit from him. And you can see it's very simple. You get the jeans, you got the, the heist jacket on, but as always with his outfits, it looks amazing. The third one, <laughs> I wanted to throw this one in here because it looks like Michael Jackson. But this one is Michael Jackson. They didn't really say what you need to make it, but you can see it's very simple looking. You just need the white sort of suit with the white uh, tux or the white pants and all that. But uh, that's pretty spot on for Michael Jackson, which I thought was kind of, it's almost kind of creepy. <laughs> but it's definitely... It's definitely uh, something interesting if you come across that character in GTA Online. Then we have Bitch Slap. This one is the Woodland Snipers. This one is a female outfit, but I'm guessing you could probably do the same thing for, you know, a male outfit. But again, we have another military style or forest style outfit. You got the camo. You got the new sort of headscarf on there with the, the brown pants. So kind of a, a nice little military forest style sniper outfit next one from ty this one is called the world war ii fighter pilot and i know we've done multiple versions of this in the past but this one does look really nice and it does use the the brown colored puffer sports jacket which is something new and it just it looks like an old school pilot so if you like driving or flying the old school planes then you might want to add that to your collection and then i think the last one before we get into the halloween spooky outfits we have this one from Pander. It's called The Drive or The Driver. It's from the movie Drive and you do have to have the crew emblem it looks like to uh you know to make this look as good as it possibly can, but everything else you need there is on the left. Now, the Halloween outfits. We're going to start with a few more from Thesis Badger. He actually made a YouTube video which I'll link in the description if you guys want to go check it out. But this one for your female character is called Chucky and I thought that one was awesome. I love I love like the creativity there with the the red hair and obviously the face paint and all that, but it's it's just a it's an it's a different sort of Halloween looking outfit. So I you know I appreciate that. And then I believe this is actually the same outfit that he had at the beginning, but it's the candy band, just another picture of it. And then we have the pumpkin king. So if you really want to go evil, then uh, that's an outfit. I just that's so scary, like creepy or whatever, like the freaking mask. Moving on, we have Atomic Zen with Jacko. And this one's kind of creative. I like this one. The, the black sort of worn down suit with all the orange, like the shirt, the tie, the shoes, and then the, the mask with the red eyes. I kind of, I like that one. And I like the way, you know, I like these pictures that you took around the city. I thought that was one of the better Halloween outfits. Then we have this one from Spirix. It's Hugo Strange from Batman Arkham City. So if you want, I know it's not technically a Halloween outfit, but if you want to dress up as you know, a bad guy, then you can dress up as Hugo Strange. And it's actually pretty spot on the outfit. I mean, you can you can get a pretty accurate look for your character. Then we have another Batman character. This one is the Riddler. And this one you can see is a pretty formal looking outfit. And I think it's actually inspired by the character from Gotham. 
So that's what it's going off of. And you can see what you need to make it there on the left. But he also has a picture here with the uh, the Joker face paint, which I don't <laughs> I don't understand that because it's the Riddler. But if you want, you know, you can obviously put that on. Another one from Raphael is Freddy Krueger. I know this is one that I've showcased, I think, last year probably. But it's Freddy Krueger. And it's as close as you're going to get with the red little turtleneck the black pants, and obviously the Freddy Krueger mask. The only thing, you're not going to get the, uh, you know, the claw. Now, I guess if you want to get into the clown craze, Arnold here is has one called the Polka Dot Killer. And you can see it's very simple to make. There's only five things you need. But uh, it's a killer clown. So, I don't know. I've never, I haven't seen the movie It, but I know it's popular. So if you like clowns and you like evil looking clowns, then there you go. This next one is just a, a cool looking Halloween style outfit from Trigger Happy. It's called Arwen's Undead Monkey. And it does require a decent amount of stuff to make, but it, it looks cool. And I love the way it looks on the Sanctus here. But you got, you know, all the, some of the biker stuff actually with the Pogo, the monkey mask, and then some stuff to go underneath like the eyes, the undead contacts and all that. But this is almost an outfit that isn't really Halloween specific, so you could almost use this whenever if you just want an evil looking outfit. That looks kind of cool. Next one from Atomic Zen. This one is called Dead Bone, and I guess it's it's somewhat of a skeleton looking outfit. You got the white face paint, the white hair, the white skeleton face mask with the white skeleton shirt, and then the, uh, the other stuff there. But if you wanted somewhat of a skeleton outfit, then, you know, I think that one's pretty cool. Next one from Broclaw is James Delaney from Taboo, or Taboo. I've never, I think this is a TV show. I don't watch it, but he does put a picture here, and it's pretty spot on, the outfit. I know it's technically, I guess, not really a Halloween outfit, but the outfit almost looks a little evil, you know? I don't know if that's what the character is, but that's why I wanted to include it in here. So if you just want to, you know, a, a, an outfit that... Doesn't really, you know, it's not specific to anyone. Like, I don't know if many people are going to say, oh, you're that guy from Taboo, but it does look kind of evil. So if you like that, then there you go. Here we have one from A Scoob. And this one's a really awesome one for your female character. I don't know exactly what it's called. I think it's actually the London Watch, but I love the combination of colors here with the hat, with the undead contacts, the makeup, the headscarf. And then everything else, it looks really, really good. And I think this is a great outfit that you can use, you know, pretty much all, all times of the year. You know, I don't think it's really Halloween specific. Then we have another female outfit from Sean. This one is the Demon Tux. Now this one's a little bit more Halloween-esque, but it's definitely, uh, definitely kind of creepy. You got the, the face paint there, like the red face paint. I don't know if that's supposed to be like blood maybe, but you got all the other red clothing with the black the black uh, pants there, but definitely somewhat of a creepy look for your female character. Here we have one, you know, obviously you have to put one of these in here. Joker from Mason. Why so serious? I agree. There are so many looks or so many different versions of the Joker, but here is just one of them. You know, if you really wanted to make the Joker, I'm sure I've made multiple videos on multiple different versions. So you can Google that, but there is another one. Here we have one from the Alpha Dog, and I thought this one was kind of cool and kind of creative. I don't know exactly what this is based off of. Uh, apparently, it's called Sawin. I don't know what that's from, but in GTA Line, like it, it, it looks close to what was in that picture, but it just looks kind of creepy, like with that mask on. So, if you wanted a creepy-looking outfit, that's one. Here we have one from Matthew called the Pumpkin Pastor. So just a, a pumpkin looking outfit with an orange Sanctus. So if you like pumpkins. Then we have from Gerard, Mr. Suicide. This one is, it actually uses one of the new overalls with that mask that we were just talking about. Pretty much adding that mask to any outfit makes it look creepy. So that one is another good one. Here we have one from Cameron. It's called the Death Cruiser using that, the new robot looking, or evil robot mask. I don't know exactly what they're called, but that one's an interesting looking outfit. And then moving to one of the final ones from Matthew, this one is the Hillbilly Butcher. 
And it's another one kind of like the one we just showed with the the overalls and that mask. Although he's got like no shoes on, freaking gloves with the axe, and he's out in the middle of nowhere, about to go on a freaking murderous rampage. And then the final one from Slit Vixness is Flash Phantom. So if you want a stylish outfit that uses one of the new Halloween face paints, then there you go. I like this one because I love how you have the flash jacket and then the flash on the hat. And then it somewhat goes like the yellow, somewhat goes with that Halloween face paint. But there you guys have it. That is this episode of Fashion Friday, the scariest outfits in GTA Online. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you, you like the outfits. If you have your own outfit you want to submit, then you can just tweet it with the hashtag SaintsFF for a future episode. But that's going to do it for me. So thank you all for watching. Please drop a video like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for these every single Friday. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.